Who are you? I'm trying to think. Don't push me. I'll push you? Well, how did what, what did you do? Snoop around the attic? No, it was Stuart. Of course, that was that's where you got those details. You from poor innocent Stuart. How did you, how did you find the joy lookalike Stuart, in the yellow pages? You frighten me, Adam. Well, good. I turned the tables on you. I was supposed to be the one frightened, wasn't I? I don't know who or what you're talking about. I'm talking about gaslighting. And you're not going to get away with it. You know, don't think you... you throw your blood pressure right to the moon. Look, what are you doing? Isn't that the idea, my blood pressure to the moon? Is Jake in on this? Tad, of course Tad is in on this. He helped the magicians that first night. The, the floating coffin, the, the, uh, the bloody water. Every time Joy has appeared, Tad has been there. He's with her right now, isn't he? I said, you are not a well man. I'm calling for help. You're not, not calling anybody. Adam. Adam, just sit down. Take a breath. Don't tell me what to do. This is not good for you. You are jeopardizing your health. I finally understand joy. Joy, you gaslight me with joy. And if I pop a couple of arteries and, 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 and drop dead, all the better. Because a widow gets a lot more than a divorcee. Adam, I had no part in, in whatever this joy business is. I don't even know who she is. The least that can happen is that I get declared insane. And you put me away, and then you get everything. I swear to you, I didn't, I didn't do anything. Nothing? Nothing? How about this? Take a look. Here. How about this duct tape? How about the chloroform? Recognize that? Does that make sense, Adam? This is what you've been working toward the whole time, isn't it? Is somebody plotting against you? Are they trying to hurt you? <laughs> yes, they are. Guess who? Oh, you think I would try to hurt you? In a heartbeat. Oh, that's good. That's good. That reaction is good. A judge might buy that. I just don't understand why you could be so cruel to me. Do you want to know? Do you really want to know? Yes, I do. Because of all the deceitful, conniving women I have ever met in my life, and there have been quite a few, believe me, you're the worst. You're, you're the worst because I let you get closer to me than anybody else. And you know why I did that? Because I love you. I love you more than I've ever loved any other woman in my life. And what you and your mother did to Stuart was unforgivable. I couldn't imagine anything lower or more treacherous. But you could. You managed to savage the memory of joy. Losing her left a scar on my heart that it took 20 years to heal. But you didn't hesitate to walk right in and rip that scar wide open. Adam. Well, you, you've won the day, Liza. You can have your divorce. The sooner the better. Oh, but launch it, my mascara. Forget about your mascara. I'm desperate here. Oh, what do you say after you? The hands of hell? No, worse. It's Liza. She's been leaving messages on my answer machine for me and all over town for me. And she just walked in. She's talking to the Mater D. Oh, no. Don't tell me she found out about you and Adam doing the nasty. Well, I can only assume. She left me a horrible message about she had some terrible confrontation with Adam and she wants me to explain it. Holy moly, looks like your goose is cooked. You're just going to have to face the music. No, we're not here. Well, it's going to happen sooner or later. Mother! Open this door right now! Hope Adam will make the same contribution he made last year. Stuart, thank God I found you. Adam, I'm making up a mailing for the hospice. Can you make the same contribution? Send me an envelope. I can't, I can't deal with that right now. What's the matter? If there was ever any hope 
that there was a shred of decency left in that woman it has been eradicated from my mind who of course i was absolutely right joy was not a ghost <laughs> i saw her with my own eyes could you look right through her just like last time she's a flesh and blood human being Stuart. but that couldn't be she was in my office she's as alive as you are i don't understand it was all a scam Stuart. I was set up. Adam killed your mother? Yes. You mean like a car accident? Or... It was murder. That's a very hairy accusation. It's the truth. How did it happen? Oh, no, I'm sorry. I didn't, I didn't mean that the way it sounded. I didn't mean to be so abrupt. Look, I understand this is hard for you. If you don't want to go through the details right no, now, no. you really... No, I... I do. Um, I don't know. Ask me questions. What, what, what do you want to know? Everything. Where did Adam meet your mother? Pigeon Hollow. She was raised there? No, she was born in Illinois. Um, so was my father. What were they doing in Pigeon Hollow? He was aroused about. Aroused about? Wait, just a second. You mean one of those guys that works on, a, on like, an oil rig? No, I mean, it was some do, but he was with the carnival, you know, running rides, fixing them when they broke down, stuff like that. Sounds like a ways to get out of Illinois. Yeah, I guess. I mean, he didn't pay much, but it was the best he could do. He, he, he didn't have much of an education. He dropped out of school when he was 13. He and Mama, they were simple people, but they were happy. They, even though it was hard, always moving from place to place, never putting down roots, but they were crazy about each other. This what kept them going. Is that, I mean, so they settled down in Pigeon Hollow? No, 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 no. The one summer the carnival went there for about a month. That's when Mama met Chandler. Go on. She was working at a diner to help make ends meet. The double D. Um, anyway, one day... Chandler's car broke down near there, and he was stuck at the diner for most of the day. Apparently, he fell for her pretty hard. Kept coming around. He wanted her to run away with him and leave my father. Why did Adam keep coming around? I mean, he must have had some kind of reason. Did your mother encourage him in any way? No. no she loved my father. She would never have done that to him. She kept saying no. Till... Chandler finally lost it. He beat her to death. You were set up? Yes. You mean, I mean the apparitions and the floating visions were all fake. But who would do anything so crazy? Liza and Marion. God knows who else was in on it. But how? They hired an impersonator. A joy lookalike. Liza wanted to make it look like I was losing my mind so she could have me declared mentally incompetent. Adam, Liza would never do something like that. Liza would do anything to get my money. Okay, okay, let's just let's say you're right. But what makes you think it was Liza who... Well, I found out quite by accident, actually. It was after I found Joy, or whatever the hell her real name is, in my office... She said that she would explain everything to me if I would follow her, come with her. She tried to lure me into the basement. The basement here? No, in my office. Oh. Why would she want to do that? She wanted to take me hostage, possibly torture me. There was duct tape down there. There was chloroform, for God's sake. And Liza put her up to it. How do you know that? Because after she disappeared... Liza? No, the, the, the Joy impersonator. Oh. Dad barged in, ruined everything. She escaped. We had to, to, to search for her throughout the building. That's when I found those things. The duct tape, the chloroform. In the basement. In a storage bin. She was trying to lure me down there. Adam, I think you're letting your imagination run wild with you. No, there's more. I told the guard to be on the lookout for a beautiful blonde. If he found her to detain her, to, to come and get me. Guess who he caught? He caught Liza. Red-handed. 
skulking around that deserted building. And Liza admitted that she was behind all this? The, the haunting? And, and, of course, she didn't admit it. She claimed to know nothing about it. Well, maybe she was telling you the truth, Adam. Maybe it was just a coincidence that she was down there. No, it was no coincidence, Stuart. I knew that Liza wanted a divorce. But to do something so deliberately cruel. All this time she came to the hospital, I thought, I thought she really cared about me. But then to play those tricks with my mind, I never thought she could hate me that much. Mother, unlock this door. I want the manager to unlock it for me. You hear me? Oh, good heavens. What is that big fuss? I mean, can't a body have a little privacy to, you know, take care of business? Where is she? Well, if you're referring to Mary and she ain't there. The Mayor D said that she was meeting you for lunch. Well, she changed her mind. She called this morning and canceled that on me. Oh, well, the maitre d' said he already seated her. Well, maybe he uh, mistook her for somebody else. Oh, well, he knows my mother. He probably dated her, for goodness sake. Where is she hiding? Mother, open the door right now. She isn't in there. Don't make me break down that door. You are going to be very sorry. Get out of here. Good grief, Liza. I can't a woman. Mother, just what are you doing? Why are you cowering in the ladies' room? I wasn't cowering. I'm sick to my stomach. You are not. Oh, excuse me. Can you see this is the ladies' room? Go, go. Now, I have a question for you. Why is it that Adam thinks that you and I are in cahoots to, to, to drive him insane or something? He's talking about ghosts and, and visions and, and apparitions. What do you know about this? Not, not a thing. Mother, I swear I don't know anything about any ghosts, Liza. Oh, well, there it is again. What? The envelope. The envelope that you said that guaranteed some sort of uh, divorce that would be at warp speed for me. No, no, no. This is just some real estate listings I picked up at my office, Liza. All right, well, why don't you let me see it? Oh, darling. Right now, Mother. So, what'd you think? Tonight, we honor Liza Colby and her sizzling performance. Bye.